Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is not one that's actually taking place in my home. We are switching it up a little bit and we are actually gonna be making over my friend Trevor's 300 square foot studio apartment. Now Trevor's actually been on my channel a couple times in the past, just in like random vlog footage here or there. If you guys ever remember me going to New York a while back, Trevor and I were vlogging in New York and going thrifting and it was a lot of fun. One of my closest friends and he actually just moved into this new apartment and when I saw it, I was was like oh my gosh I would love to make this space over it is so cute and he's actually already been living there for a couple of months but I've just been focusing on so many spaces in my own place but I knew I wanted to get around to this today's video is kindly sponsored by Decenio and it's part of the Decenio design series that I am doing with them so this is going to be one of three videos and I have done many many videos with Decenio in the past I love Decenio art prints as many of you guys know if you're in the market for like affordable art prints that are really on trend and have frames and there's a lot of options you could build a gallery wall definitely check out Decenio I'm building a gallery wall at Trevor's it's gonna be so cool or at least I hope so I think it's gonna be cool but the kind of interesting part about this makeover is I'm starting it today and I have absolutely nothing I don't have anything for this makeover yet I'm kind of just jumping into it randomly and I'm really gonna be using Facebook marketplace as a resource to source a lot for this it is a 300 square foot studio so in my head I was like you know what there can't be too many items I have to find like it's not a large living room it's not a kitchen renovation we're not painting so you know what we are gonna do this on the fly and I'm excited so let's see what we could do and let's get started with this transformation I just got to Trevor's apartment. I am walking in the door for the first time. I've only actually been here one time before when he first moved in and it's been a couple months since he moved in. So we are going to check it out. It's a pretty small space, I'm not gonna lie, which is not bad. I love small spaces, but we are gonna have to work some magic in here. So let's see. So when you walk into Trevor's apartment, this is the full apartment which is definitely not a bad thing. I love a little studio. I think they're so cozy. And my first ever apartment was exactly like this. And me and Marie lived in it. I don't know if you guys remember my first YouTube channel. Marie and I both lived in a 450 square foot apartment. When you walk in, there's a little futon right here. And he actually was sleeping on this over here for the past couple of months until he recently got a mattress. And he has this rug, which I believe was from his mom's shop. And then a couple of random furniture pieces, which were from his parents. Uh, they're doing a home renovation right now as well. And then over here, he got himself a bar cart. Trevor loves a good cocktail. Like that's something that you will know about Trevor is Trevor loves a cocktail. He loves to entertain and he has people over all the time, which is really fun. So I want to make this space a uh, great entertainment space and then two chairs over here for his guests so that's really like the entire space I probably have to guess it's maybe 12 13 feet wide and about 20 to 25 feet long we are gonna start taking some photos of some pieces that we want to list on Facebook marketplace just to get them out of here so I'm thinking the rug this couch here probably the chairs that's actually a good tip too is when you're redoing a space is if you sell everything that's already in there it makes the budget go even further. Yeah, true. And then you could spend it on items. These are our finds so far. We have a dresser. I actually picked up this dresser yesterday. So let me insert that footage. On the way to pick up our first find from Facebook Marketplace. And we're gonna be there in just a second. This is the dresser right here. It's super pretty. It's like a oak wood and the drawers are so beautiful. I honestly want to keep this for myself. I love the legs on it and how chunky it looks and just all of these squares with the little cork details. We're loading it up. Got the dresser and the mirror and the nightstand and he wrapped it for us. And then a rug, which I got from Laloy. This is the Cornwall rug, the charcoal and natural from Jean Stouffer's new collection and it is so pretty. So we're gonna bring this in. So good in here. 
Wow, look how pretty that rug looks on the ground. Adds a great texture and it's a natural jute. So since this is such a high traffic area, since it is, you know, the exact center of the apartment, I felt like a jute rug would be nice in here. It's also really soft, so it has like wool and jute mix. So it's perfect for kind of an indoor rug as well. Bringing in the dresser that I found yesterday on Facebook Marketplace. I want this dresser for myself. It is so, so beautiful, the wood. The glass looks so, so good. It is time to open our Decenio packages, which is the sponsor of today's video, and I adore Decenio. You guys all know I've used Decenio prints many, many times in past projects. Makeovers are my favorite when it comes to gallery walls, and I love their frames as well. So I ordered a bunch for Trevor's apartment, and I want to see these because I actually have only gotten this piece so far for the space, and the art is really going to guide me in the direction for getting the bedding, picking out color for some upholstery that I want to do in here. It's also so hot, and Trevor lives in one of those old... LA apartments that has no air conditioning. So that's why I look like this. Look, you guys, this is the little like folder that you get all of your art in. It says there is art inside. This is my favorite little package to receive. You guys look at <gasps> That is so cool. I think this might need to go above the table. I have a frame for it. I do have a frame for it. This needs to go above the dining table. Love, I'm gonna pop up the proper names of the prints on the screen, but I absolutely love this one here. And then I also got this kind of green floral one as well. I thought that'd be a nice one to mix in. This is kind of the hero one that I actually selected. And it's again, because Trevor loves to entertain and he loves like, Everyone knows him for making cocktails for our friend group. Thought this was such a cute piece of art from Desenio with like the dog and the wolf and like the little deer over here just having cocktails together. And I loved this art. He also is very New York, like that's very Trevor's vibe. So I ended up getting him this kind of hotel scene that I thought was also a really unique one. I love how Desenio really has something for everybody. Like if you check out their website, they have such a wide array of prints and you could filter it by botanicals or, you know, word art or whatever you're looking for. And then I also got this one, which I really like this one. It's kind of a Japanese inspired print, but I thought the green was just a great pop of color. And then we have some little icons over here. So I ended up getting this cute one. It's like a little flat lay. And then I got this print. It's gingham number two, which is a really fun one. The Vicky Check Collection, Museum of Modern Art. So those are the pieces of art that I got. I actually did not know that I got the pink one as big as I did, but I think it's gonna be really pretty over on this wall. In terms of frames, we have quite a few here. And these are the darker wood frames that they offer. This artwork I have here is definitely kind of random. I did want to coordinate it a bit, but the way that we're gonna bring a cohesive element to the gallery wall and to the art is through the frames. So I selected the same exact frames, kind of that cohesive look with the frames, but then the art's gonna add some nice little pops. All the artwork's unpacked. I love the direction of how that's looking so far. And we just found a coffee table on Facebook Marketplace and we're heading to go pick it up right now. I think it could be a really great one. It's on the smaller side, mid-century. I think we're going left. Yeah. Look at this house we just drove by. Oh, it is so cool. It's all painted. Here's our find. It was only $80 and it says kidney shaped table, but it's in this really great like dark kind of tealish navy color. It's nice and skinny as a coffee table and it's a fun shape. So I thought it'd be a nice piece. And it's only $80. It is now 6.57 and we are arriving to our last Facebook Marketplace pickup for the day, which is a floor lamp, only $120. Um, and we're just pulling up right now. This one was a pretty far drive though. It was like almost an hour away. But look at this lamp, you guys. Look at the lamp base. It's like iron, has these nice little angles up here. And then it kind of comes to a intersection and it has a bowl top as well. And then got this console for him too. Um, 
So I have decided to DIY a headboard for Trevor's because I've been looking for a good headboard on Facebook, can't find one, and I came to FNS to look at some fabrics for a headboard. I'm actually kind of thinking this. I was coming in with the full intention of using a velvet. I was thinking something like this, like a chenille. It's kind of like a grass cloth in a way, but I feel like it's really natural. It has texture to it. I love the organic nature. Is it crazy of me to potentially get this on sale velvet? for the chairs. There's something about the colors in this that I love. I think this could be a cool fabric to use. At the hardware store, I had a large piece of plywood cut down to 62 inches wide, and I just left it at four feet tall, which was how it came, a four by eight rectangle. And what I'm doing here is actually finding the exact center point of that 62 inches, which was 31. And you couldn't actually hear me here. It was a little too windy outside, but we found this 11.75 inch circle at the hardware store. So we have this circle, and then we have a smaller plate that just kind of fits on the inside. And with your larger circle, you are first going to to start by butting it up to the corner and just tracing halfway around. You could do the whole circle if you wanted to, but you really only need to trace half of it. And you're going to do this to both corners. So the left corner and the right corner. And once you've done that, you're going to measure the distance between the two circles and input that on your calculator. So mine was 38 and a quarter. And then from there, you're going to subtract your largest circle size two times. So I'm subtracting it twice. That way I have four total peaks um, in my wave, if that makes sense. And then with your remaining amount, you're gonna divide that by three. And that's gonna give you your spacing between each because you're gonna have three total spaces between your four peaks. So this is going to give you 4.91 inches or in whatever case yours might be a little bit different, but just follow those measurements. And you might have to like replay that a couple of times, but that is how you get the proper measurement. So what I'm doing here is actually measuring 4.91 inches from my circles that I created on the left and the right sides. And that's going to give me the perfect placement for those other ones. So then we have four of our circles on the top, as you can see here across the top, and there's 4.91 inches of space in between either of them. What we're gonna do is take our smaller circle and just connect the lines just like this. So just connect up those lines and this is how you're gonna be creating that wave. So as you can see here, it's starting to create that fluid wave-like pattern and you're going to connect up your other two sections as well. And this is the line that you're gonna cut on to create your wavy headboard. Then you'll have this nice wavy edge on the top once you have all of your lines connected up and we have a nice rounded corner as well. So it's kind of gonna flow from nothing into this rounded edge. It's gonna be Perfect, so we're gonna cut this out with a jigsaw. Wow, look at this edge. It looks exactly what I was envisioning for the top of this headboard. While I was at the fabric store, I also picked up a large piece of batting, which is traditionally used in quilting, but it's also great for upholstery. So I laid this down and I'm just cutting with about a three inch amount around the outside. That way I could staple this down to the back side of the headboard. So I'm using my electronic stapler, which I'll link for you guys because this is such a lifesaver, especially with all of the reupholstering projects I've been doing lately. It's been so fun to use this and the shape just turned out so perfect. So for the fabric, I'm using that grass cloth style one that I got at FNS and I just love this it has a great texture to it and the color is also great now the three sides that are not wavy were pretty simple you're just gonna cut and leave yourself a couple inches of excess fabric to work with but the side that was wavy I definitely say is a little bit of a challenge just in terms of you have to figure it out and make sure that your fabric is not creasing while you're pulling so I suggest just cutting up to the center and then just trying to pull and tug your fabric around those those center sections and something else I need to know is that I actually ended up undoing the bottom and then upholstering the top wavy section first and then pulling really really tightly on the bottom and that really smoothed out the top edge so definitely upholster the wave before the bottom I'm just gonna give this a little seam right at the top here to get any of these little tiny puckers out and this will be a perfect headboard for Trevor's place I love it Gonna do these panels here. These are such a great, just like staple curtain panel. And I'm gonna wrap two packs so we could double them up. You get two panels for $25, so $50 for 
four total panels. This lamp that's been like sold out, the donut one, they have two of them. I feel like this is so Trevor's vibe. I kinda love this. $55.99. Good morning! Day three or four-ish of Trevor's studio apartment makeover and we are at another Facebook marketplace appointment. What happened? Um, we are here to pick up a bed frame. Oh, I think it's just right over here. So we're gonna go get this bed frame for Trevor's place. Here is the bed frame. It is perfect. So cute. Just like a simple wood bed frame. We got the bed frame! I'm holding it with one hand. So this is our strappage that we have going on there, but I think that should work. <laughs> and today is our main big, I guess, install day. The last couple days was a lot of DIYing, picking up pieces, making sure that we had everything for the makeover. And now is the fun part of actually putting everything up. I am so excited to see the decennio prints on the wall as well, because I think they're gonna make a huge impact and add a great, just bit of color and art to the space. I'm giving Trevor my previous breakfast nook table from the apartment. It was that world market one because it's gonna fit perfect over by this window. And I know that he really loves the table by the window. So I want to put this one over there. actually found a couple of chairs again on Facebook. I'm gonna pop up the listing right here. You might be able to see it a little better here. Look at these chairs. Aren't they so cool? I loved them. I thought they were like a substantial chair, but they still were kind of on the smaller side. Switch it up a bit and maybe reupholster those, but these are just gonna be kind of the little accent chairs at this table. So to attach the headboard, we got a two by four from the hardware store and just cut it in half. So they're basically four foot, did a very bad job of cutting it in half as you could see, but that is fine. And we are gonna be mounting that to either side of the leg, so the back of this. So just screwing it into either leg and then attaching our headboard onto that and screwing it in. So these are kind of gonna be the support that's going to hold the headboard to the frame. We're gonna be attaching the headboard with these little L brackets just on the back there. So attaching it to the two by four and then to the headboard to mount it. look so beautiful nice and soft uh, let's put the bed in place and then put the chairs over here and we can start hanging up some artwork so one of the main reasons I chose this kind of wavy top headboard was because I knew it was gonna cover the window a bit any queen size headboard would have covered the window this is just how it fits over here. So I wanted something that kind of rounded and didn't cut off the window, but more so allowed the curtains to flow behind it. Getting ready to do the gallery wall right now, and using those decennial frames, the wood ones that are just so great. But the thing I love about these is that you actually could pop the insert out. So I'm just gonna open this. And then there's a paper insert. You can use this as a hanging template. So keep these and then you can kind of put them up on your wall, position them out in different orientations, play around with the actual layout, and then use this as a template for hanging. Yeah, by the way, I'm 
taking the sconce off the wall because them being centered like this means that everything has to be centered between them and this dresser would have to be centered. So if I remove this one, then I could cover it up with some artwork. I'm gonna let Trevor save this in like one of the upper kitchen cabinets. That way it can be reinstalled when he moves out. But for now, it's just not gonna be there. We're gonna actually cap off the wires and then just hang a piece of art over the hole. This is a huge reason why I love Desenio frames and prints is you can use the inserts actually as templates. So as you can see here, I'm just putting some tape on the back and I'm able to play around with the orientation and layout of the gallery wall. We're gonna mount the TV off camera. So the TV will be mounted in three, two, one. Okay, the TV is hung, looks lovely. It also swivels out completely to go to the bed. So if Trevor wanted to watch TV from the bed, you can do that, which is really nice. And then it just pops right back onto the wall if you wanted to watch TV from the couch, which is gonna be here in a little bit. But let's get this art up on the wall. The framing process is always my favorite part. So I just pop these in the frames. And if you have never tried out Desenio, I highly recommend them as an art print company or just as a company in general. They have such affordable artwork and frames and the quality is top notch. Like it is so incredible. Not to mention they ship to the US in just two to four days, which is my favorite part because I'm someone that is so impatient when it comes to like a room makeover or for instance, this project was such a last minute one that I just wanted some artwork for it and they sent me some incredible pieces they arrived so quickly so i'm just going to be hammering a nail actually in either corner of the template that's my biggest tip is hammering them in the top left and right corner of your template and then it hangs your artwork perfectly and this really is a great example of how these art pieces don't necessarily go together but the frame is what really pairs them and kind of creates a cohesivity between them all and i love how a high quality gallery wall does not have to break the bank so i will link to senio below my absolute absolute favorite art print company. I love the mix of art in here. It just has like a fun vibe to it. It's very Trevor. I feel like he's gonna love this. Um, it's just so fun and different. Like I love the little dinner party. I don't know, something about it's just really, really nice. And then I'm gonna of course style up the console. I'm thinking a little lamp over on this right side since we did remove the sconce from here. That way we still have kind of the light source. Justin and I are gonna head over to my house because I actually got Trevor a sofa a couple weeks back on Facebook Marketplace. I found the coolest vintage Ikea sofa. <laughs> and then we'll do it like this. Look at this checkered leather, vintage Ikea from 1990. Do you know the, do you remember the name of this? Justin actually has this sofa at his house. Which one do you have? I have the dark brown version of like the, like the coated, it's like almost like painted brown. Then I found a love seat and a really long couch and I actually was going to keep them as a set for like a future project and I ended up needing to use the love seat here because it just fits perfectly and it's such a beautiful piece with a lot of character. Everything in here is kind of feeling a little bit on the newer side. Even though we do have this older dresser piece, it almost looks like it's from CB2. So I wanted to have something that really had like that patina and that kind of vintage quality to it and this leather is so pretty. love the size of this coffee table in here and the color as well and the mid-century kind of vibe to it just everything about it is perfect the curve the size the color I love this piece and then this larger print from Desenio I'm going to be framing and I thought I was going to actually frame this and put it over here as you can see here I have it framed right here but I actually ended up putting it into the kitchen area and I did two smaller Desenio prints here I also hung up that light from Ikea which is going to plug in just behind the curtains I'm going to just run an extension cord from behind the curtains to behind his bed area so that light could be turned on and I'm also going to be reupholstering the chairs in this striped velvet fabric that I picked up at the fabric store I love this I only needed a yard of it so it cost 20 bucks to kind of spruce up these chairs that I found on Facebook marketplace for $200 and I love them they are so cool again channeling that mid-century style and going back to the coffee table and also kind of referencing the dresser as well so we kind of have a mix of mid-century and a mix of mm, just kind of lone fox vibes i don't know what the other vibes are in here but they're lone foxy for sure they're foxy look how cute the striped chair looks i love it i can't believe this fabric was on sale it looks so pretty on the chair and i love how it adds a little bit of color because everything else is a little more neutrally and kind of wood toned 
I got these green linen pillowcases from H&M Home for only $14 a while back. Uh, I actually got these when I was in Cleveland. I thought they were so pretty. Good morning, it is our last and final day over at Trevor's apartment and today's a fun day. It's a lot of styling, decorating essentially. We have all of our large pieces in. I'm going to be bringing in the floor lamp. We're gonna be styling up the console, a little bit of styling on our dresser that's right behind me. We really made so much of the space that was here. Like it looks so good. So let's get to styling. Um, I just wanna kinda do a quick little montage of adding all of the little pieces I've been collecting for this space. So this piece that you can see here, I actually ended up getting for Trevor as a little gift for his apartment, kind of like a little housewarming first apartment gift. It's from Olive Atelier, and I know that he really loves Olive Atelier and kind of like some of the rustic pieces that they have. And I thought this console would be nice because he could store things under it, and I didn't want to constrict him with like more drawers and just kind of let it be more so a free-flowing space. He can add baskets under here or storage boxes if he wants to, but then it's also a nice little entry area for your keys and wallet and just kind of essentials for when you walk in the door. I'm also going to be adding a mirror here even though I did add this mirror yesterday which you guys probably didn't see yet. I really really like this mirror. It's a huge blob shaped mirror. I got this from Urban Outfitters probably two years ago and I had it in my storage shed for a while. I never ended up actually using it at the apartment. It never ended up fitting on any of the walls that I was designing and it was on sale when I bought it. So I ended up grabbing it out of my storage shed and bringing it here. It's perfect because Trevor's closet is right here. But I will be adding another mirror here because you know what? I think that's fine. You can never have too many mirrors. I love the shape of this, especially with the scones. I feel like it just fits this kind of little spot perfectly. As we grow, I'll keep running till I can. Yeah. You'll always be. better view of what this kind of side of the apartment's looking like. I feel like we've been focusing so much on what's uh, in front of me at the moment, but I have the coolest floor lamp. I already shared it with you. I picked it up a couple days ago from Facebook Marketplace. Such a great deal, $120 for this floor lamp. It's made of iron and it has this very like postmodern element to it. Um, the lady said that her mom bought it in the 80s and she's had it for a long time and it's just not her style so i was like you know what i would love to put it in trevor's he needs more lighting too in here just because we did remove one of those sconces kind of sculptural it's useful it's functional oh my gosh look at the floor lamp just peeking out behind the sofa disregard all of my items that are over there in the corner it's so pretty i love it I just finished adding the final touches on Trevor's apartment, just kind of styled it up with some pieces that I had in my previous collection that I brought over here. I love keeping things like that just for projects like this where you can repurpose and reuse. And I just love all of the repurposed items in here. There were so many Facebook Marketplace finds, secondhand pieces that really add that kind of lived in element that you don't really get with newer pieces. Plus it doesn't break the bank. And I just feel like this apartment or the studio space looks so, so beautiful for how much which we actually spent in here and not to mention the decennio art prints totally make this entire wall like they're the focal point of the apartment i love them they add so much color so let me reveal this space to you guys in three two one
I hope that you loved today's video of transforming Trevor's 300 square foot studio apartment. And I hope this gave you guys some ideas for your very own studio apartment. Do not forget to check out all of the Decenio prints along with any other items I used in this apartment. I'll link them in the description box below for you guys and I will catch you all in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. I think I might need my own studio space soon because the vibes in here really are just perfect. <laughs> Bye guys.